Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 drugstore moisturizers with SPF. If you hear that trickling noise in the background, it's my arrow garden. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. Anyways, um, all right, so you may be wondering, is a moisturizer with SPF enough? It is, so long as you apply enough of it to all sun exposed areas, and you don't have any skip areas, and you make sure you reapply it throughout the day. I have a video going into more detail about this, which I will list down below in the Descripto box. You may also be wondering, what's the difference between a moisturizer with SPF versus a sunscreen? Truthfully, there's not a hard and fast definition of this. I would say the main difference though is that moisturizers with SPF, they are products that really address some of the needs of dry skin and dry skin conditions. Whether it be dry skin related to eczema, irritation, rosacea, a lot of people with acne, they don't realize that they are under moisturizing and they need a moisturizer. So moisturizers with SPF kind of help address that as well as the need for protection from ultraviolet radiation. I like to use moisturizers with SPF kind of as part of my everyday skincare routine. I don't rely on them though. If I'm actually going to be out in the sun, then I definitely use a dedicated sunscreen. I find that moisturizers with SPF, if applied correctly, are a fantastic choice for everyday life when you're primarily indoors. They keep the skin moisturized and they offer protection so long as they're applied correctly, as opposed to true sunscreens, which often actually can be kind of more drying um, and they're more utilitarian in terms of some of their features designed for being outdoors in sweaty conditions. The products in today's video though, they're all drugstore, meaning you can walk into a drugstore or pharmacy and find these. Uh, they're not indie brands, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just wanted to keep it focused to drugstore. Um, I don't know, for the theme of the video. <laughs> The first product is the Cetaphil Redness Relieving Moisturizer SPF 20. This product is fantastic, really for any skin type. It's very moisturizing and it's tinted. It is a mineral sunscreen. It has the active ingredients zinc and titanium dioxide. So it's very good for around your eyes. Chemical sunscreens can be used around the eyes, but they tend for many people to burn and sting. Mineral sunscreens are a better choice. Mineral sunscreens are often easier to tolerate if you have rosacea or sensitive skin. And a lot of people just like mineral sunscreens. Now, unfortunately, mineral sunscreens do leave a cast. The tint, however, in the Cetaphil product does help mask some of that cast, but I do find that this product has a lighter tint. The tint on the Cetaphil moisturizer is better for pale to medium skin tones. If you have a deeper skin tone, I do think this product will leave that kind of lavender ashen look to the skin, which is not ideal. But don't despair, I will recommend some other products in this video that will be better for deeper skin tones. The nice thing about the Cetaphil Redness Relieving product is that it has licorice root in it, which is anti-inflammatory, calms down redness, and can help with hyperpigmentation. Because this is a tinted uh, product, it has iron oxides, which will offer protection against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light, which affect medium to deep skin tones. Although, unfortunately, the tint on this is not great for those skin tones, but that is a nice advantage of this product. Um, it's very moisturizing, it's not greasy, it's not shiny, fantastic product. The next product is one I've been recommending for a long time, it's fantastic. It is the Olay Complete Moisturizer with SPF 30. This product is a great combination sunscreen. That means it has zinc, a mineral active, and it has some chemical filters that protect against UVB. I find that combination sunscreens, as opposed to just plain mineral sunscreens, leave less of a cast, and they're more acceptable for medium to deepish skin tones. When you get to the deeper end of the spectrum in terms of skin tone, I do think these still offer some cast that is not ideal. But this product is one to definitely give a try. It's very moisturizing, and I've tried many of the Olay 
moisturizers with SPF and a lot of them are like kind of filmy. I don't know, they just don't perform well. They pill. This one is the best. This one works really well and it's very affordable. The third product is one for folks who have very dry skin and a deeper skin tone. This is gonna be a good one for deeper skin tones. It's the La Roche-Posay Tellarian Moisturizer SPF 30. This product is a chemical sunscreen, so there's no cast with this. Um, and it has niacinamide, which will help calm down redness, soothe irritation, help with skin barrier restoration, and also will help address hyperpigmentation, which is often what is of interest in people with deeper skin tones because they ha when they have acne or, or some sort of skin irritation, they're at risk for healing with hyperpigmentation. So this is a good product for that. And it also is super moisturizing. Um, and it's got ceramides in it, which help restore the skin barrier. Great choice. It's very, it's very moisturizing. Some people with oily, oily skin find that this looks greasy and they don't care for it. But if you've got super dry skin, try this one. It's quite good, no cast. The next product is one I used to use all of the time when I was in college. It is the Eucerin Daily Moisturizer, sorry, Eucerin Daily Protection SPF 30. This is so inexpensive. It's definitely worth a try. It is a combination sunscreen. It has zinc, titanium dioxide, and a few chemical filters for UVB. The ingredient list is really short, and it's a great combination sunscreen for people with oily skin because it's not greasy, and that's the kind of thing that people with oily skin are looking for. It has a matte finish to it. Now, this will leave a cast on very deep skin tones because of the zinc and titanium, but I find that it's quite suitable and people with medium skin tones and medium to early deep get along pretty well with it. So try it out. Um, it's very affordable. But moving along to the next Eucerin drugstore win that's great for any, sh any skin tone is the Eucerin Daily Hydration Cream SPF 30. I recently discovered this this year and I don't know why I've been sleeping on it all of this time. It's a chemical sunscreen so there's no cast and it's really just like a body moisturizer. You don't even realize you're putting sunscreen on. Um, that being said, I guess it does have a bit of that scent that people don't care for that is associated with sun, you know, the sunscreen smell. So if you don't like that, you know, be aware of this probably smells like that. But uh, there's no there's no fragrance, so that's why it smells like sunscreen. Um, anyways, yeah, there's no cast to this. It's very moisturizing. I can wear this on my face comfortably and it's so inexpensive. You get a big tube of it, not just a little one ounce bottle. You get a large tube of it for, I can't remember how much it is, definitely under $10. Um, and you know, it's the kind of thing that people who don't like putting sunscreen on, they don't even really realize that they are. So I like it for that reason. You know, if you have a family member that's particularly stubborn about putting on sunscreen, try this one. It's, you know, it's, it's comfortable to wear, not greasy and doesn't have that shiny look to it. All right, the next product is actually two products, but they're the same. And that is the Differin Oil Control Moisturizer SPF 30 or the Cetaphil Pro Oil Control Moisturizer SPF 30. They're the same product, but this product is great for people who have oily skin. Um, whether you choose the Differin one or the Cetaphil one, they're the same thing. The product is a chemical sunscreen, so there's no cast, so it's great for deep skin tones. The product has ingredients in it that help absorb excess oil, so it's gonna reduce the shininess on the surface of the skin if you have oily skin. And the product also has ceramide in it, which helps with skin barrier restoration. This is a fantastic product for people, especially who have acne and need to use a moisturizer and need to use a sunscreen in order to better treat their acne, period. Um, this is a good one. It's one that people with acne get along well with. It was designed with acne in mind. So definitely check it out. It doesn't matter if you get the Differin one or the Cetaphil one, they're the same, same thing. 
Parent company, Galderma, identical ingredient list. Same shape bottle, I mean, it, it goes on and on. This product also has um, licorice in it, like the Cetaphil redness relieving. And again, that's gonna calm down redness, irritation, and it's helpful for hyperpigmentation. So this is a great one for deeper skin tones, but you know, pale skin tones, it works well too. Um, so that one is fantastic and you know, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Now, CeraVe dominates this list. I apologize, it is what it is. What can I say? CeraVe makes fantastic products. But this is one of the best drugstore tinted moisturizers I have ever come across. It's the CeraVe Sheer Tint SPF 30. This is a much deeper tint in comparison to the Cetaphil product. It works really well for a broader range of skin tones, including deeper skin tones. I do get comments from people that they don't care for the shade, it doesn't go well with their skin. So, you know, it's not gonna work universally, but I think they at least picked a shade that works for a lot of people. For me, it's actually a little bit too deep orange, but I find that once it absorbs, I actually end up liking it quite a bit. Very moisturizing, but not greasy. Really good for oily or dry skin. Um, definitely check it out. It is a mineral sunscreen, so it um, is not going to burn or sting around the eyes, or at least it shouldn't. If you have sensitive skin, it's going to be, you know, it shouldn't cause problems for you. And then of course, it's a CeraVe product, so that comes with ceramides, which help with skin barrier restoration. So it's a good choice for people with like eczema or dry skin. Yeah, I love this product and, you know, definitely give it a try. It's the best tinted mineral sunscreen, in my opinion, on the drugstore market. All right, like I said, CeraVe kind of dominates here. The next one is one I've loved for years. It's the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30. Now this is a combination sunscreen. So you do have zinc in there and then you have some chemical filters for UVB protection. This product I personally love, but I find that people are split when it comes to this. You either love it or hate it. And I really can't find a unifying feature amongst the people who don't like it to warn you about. But I do get comments from time to time that some people find it pills. I've never really had that experience. Um, and you know, I continue to recommend it. It's very moisturizing. It has, um, you know, again, ceramides for skin barrier restoration. Now, if you have a deep skin tone, the zinc in this is likely going to cause to leave a cast. Um, and so be, you know, th this might not be a good choice for you, but it's really friendly for People who call themselves combination skin, although I've told you guys that can mean anything from rosacea to eczema to irritant contact dermatitis to acne that's being treated with a drying medication. Like I never really know what that means, but people who call themselves combination skin find that this product addresses their moisturizing and daytime sunscreen, sunscreen needs. Um, and it, it absorbs very quickly. It doesn't look greasy or shiny on the skin. I've never had any issue with it pilling. I have a video, by the way, about how to reduce sunscreen pilling in terms of your application style. So check that out if you're dealing with that right now with any product. Um, check out those tips. The next product is the last of the CeraVe Rex. It is the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen SPF 30. This one's actually expensive for the amount that you get and you go through it fairly quickly, <clears throat> but it's fantastic if you have a deeper skin tone. It's a chemical sunscreen, so it will not leave a cast. Um, and it's super moisturizing, but again, not greasy, not shiny. I used this product uh, and tried it out in total, like finished the whole tube, um, I think over a year ago. And I remember griping about how um, I liked it, but that I thought it was expensive and that you would go through it very quickly. So be forewarned about that. For a drugstore product, it is on the pricey end of things, but it does actually look very good on the skin. And it's just a nice moisturizer that doesn't burn or sting around the eyes, at least for me. So that is another CeraVe product. A lot of people love that product and people, especially with oily skin, they're like, this is the only moisturizer with sunscreen that I care for. So definitely try it. And then the last product is for those of you in the UK. You can't get this in the drugstores here, but you can get it in Superdrug. It's called Acnicide Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. I believe this is the UK equivalent to the Cetaphil Pro Oil Control Moisturizer, AKA the Differin Oil Control Moisturizer. That product that I mentioned earlier, 
So that those two products that I mentioned earlier, I think this is the UK equivalent of that. It's a chemical sunscreen with some of those same ingredients for absorbing excess oiliness. It has licorice root in it for calming down redness and addressing issues with hyperpigmentation as well as irritation. It has zinc gluconate like the different Cetaphil Mambo Combo also does which is a polyhydroxy acid that can help hydrate the skin, soothe irritation, and also kind of aid in uh, skin cell turnover. Um, and it's got panthenol in it, uh, a B vitamin that's great for the skin barrier. Definitely try this out, you guys, in the UK. Um, it is, it's a good one. No cast, because it's a chemical sunscreen, very oily skin friendly, very acne, acne friendly. Um, so definitely try that one out. Those are my top 10 drugstore moisturizers with SPF. Let me know if you guys have used any of these. If you like them, give me some feedback on how they perform for you. Um, I always enjoy hearing that. It helps me make better recommendations for both you and my patients. So thank you guys for always sharing that with me in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.